And now here is my secret, a very simple secret. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eyes. Looking at the two of you here today, I believe you both already know this to be true. Underneath your beautiful dress and your finely tailored suit, all that matters is what remains unseen. Hi everybody, welcome to Austin. Thank you for coming. All of you are here because you mean the world to both of these two beautiful people. We can't thank you enough for your love and participation in this ceremony of alliance and devotion between Mandy and Megan, two women I couldn't love more. I think no matter where we place our faith, we all believe in the power of love. Love for our family, love for our friends, love for our children, and love for one another. I've watched both of you, beautiful in mind, body and spirit, build each other up, be kind to each other, and celebrate one another's accomplishments with true admiration and grace. As you both cross into the realm of marriage, we ask that you continue to show your support just as you have done by being here today. The support of a loving and strong family, true blue friends, is crucial to the survival of any relationship. So I ask all of you, will you promise to provide them with your continued love and support, just as you have today? Oh yeah. Yes, that's what I hoped you would say. <laughs> Great, okay. Let's get to the official language before you two read your own vows and exchange your rings. Amanda St. Romain, will you take Megan Dieterling to be your lawfully wedded wife from this moment on through hard times and happy ones? Love her, cherish her, and hold this union sacred from this day on as long as you both shall live. Thank you. Megan Dieterling, will you take Amanda St. Romain to be your lawfully wedded wife from this moment on through hard times and happy ones? Love her and cherish her and hold this union sacred from this day on as long as you both shall live. I do. All right, y'all bear with me. Um, Megan, my other half, my better half. I'm nearly speechless while looking at you here today. Um, looking into your beautiful eyes and seeing you in this gown on our wedding day it's beyond what I could have imagined and I know that I love you but it just melts my heart even more um, so it makes me it's a little harder to speak than usual but I'll try to get this out um, words truly cannot express how much I genuinely love you and adore you beyond this day is the rest of our lives and I cannot imagine one day going by without you by my side as my partner, my lover, and my confidant. You are my rock, you are my solace, you are my one. I promise to stand by you, not only today, but every day through the ups and downs, adventures and heartaches, the good times and the bad, and everything in between. You were so tender and loving towards me, and you have shown me more kindness, love, stability, and unconditional love than I ever thought possible. You are my one, my only. I promise to be spontaneous with you. <laughs> if you know Megan, it's to know that she's spontaneous. <laughs> and to seize each day of this life we share together, moving forward. I promise to support you while you chase your dreams and attain all of your goals. I promise above all else to love you without conditions. I love you, my gypsy bell wanderer. Today, I am the happiest and most complete I have ever been. You complete me, Megan. <sighs> you have my whole heart. I'm just a girl standing in front of a girl <laughs> asking her to love me. If you know it, you know it. Yes. Megan, will you accept this ring as a symbol of my eternal love and commitment to you and of our marriage and of our future together? I will. Okay, where's the ring? <laughs> <laughs> Just that one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Plus, I could have the ring. Do you accept this ring? I do. <laughs> there it is. Mandy, I never knew if I would find somebody to marry and love as much as I do, or if I ever would. I knew it would Speak only up. be a very special person 
and you are that special person. You are the opposite of me and we complement each other. We dare each other to grow and step out of our comfort zones. We give to each other more than we take. We carry weight when the other person isn't strong enough. We hold the other person together when they can't hold themselves together. We dream big and together there are no limits. And if we fall, we fall together. And then we will help each other up and try again. We are a team, the best team. Mandy, you love me for me fully, unconditionally, without judgment, with all my weird and quirky ways. You're an abundance of patience for me and understanding me. I love your strength, your spunkiness, <laughs> your fashion, <laughs> commitment, intelligence, and determination. Thank you for all you do to show your love for me, especially the little things like getting me an electric foot warmer, even though I think that was more for you, so I don't put my cold feet on you. <laughs> um, learning how to make my favorite seasonal syrup to enjoy with my coffee and making my office organized and cute so I have a functional space to work. It's all noticed and I will work every day to show you that all the love that you've shown me and continue to show me. I look forward to sharing coffee with you each morning finding random sock stuff all over the house, <laughs> traveling the world together, closing cabinet doors left open, <laughs> hey. sharing home cooked meals or pulling out our inner fashionista and going out. But most of all, I look forward to our long talks that we have always been able to do from the beginning, hours of conversations <laughs> and share with each other our fears, our hopes and our dreams. You showed me your commitment and love through rough times, and I promise to stay committed with love to you during the rough and beautiful times. All right, just as this ring has no end, neither does my love and commitment. Mandy, do you accept this ring as a token of my love and commitment to you? I do. By the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church, I now pronounce you spiritually and legally married. My dears, you may now have your first kiss as newlyweds. With the airplane over your